What's going on, smart people? I have plenty of core courses to work through that are going to keep me busy for the next year or so in grad school for physics, but there will be a point where I'll be taking less courses and I'll be doing more research. The cool thing about grad school, though, is if you can argue that a course is relevant to your research, the grad school will let you take it. It doesn't matter if it's in a different department, which brings me to the topic of this video. Today I'm going to be going, doing a little bit of window shopping in the math department to see if there are any math courses I might want to take in the future. I'm also going to be looking throughout the undergraduate part as well, because if there are courses offered at the undergraduate level that could help me with research, maybe I could chip away at getting a math degree. I mean, I already have a math minor, so that could be killing two birds with one stone. So let's just go through it. I'll leave a link in the description so that you can go through this catalog as well, because I'm going to be skimming around the ones that don't sound particularly interesting to me. So uh, let's just go through this. First one, Introduction to Differential Geometry. That's at the undergrad level. So that's something that I would be interested in taking. Applies Calculus to Curves and Surfaces in Three-Dimensional Euclidean Space, Foundations of Geometry. They even offer a course in topology at the undergraduate level. None of these courses were offered in the math department at ODU. So that's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty refreshing to see that it's, uh, it's got a wide scope of courses for undergrads to take. I don't know how applicable topology would be in, um, in QCD. Maybe it is and I'm just being an idiot. Let me know in the comment section if I'm just being an idiot. But I don't know if that's something I would necessarily need to take. I would think for QCD, good courses to make sure I have a strong uh, grasp of would be things like maybe group theory and complex variables. Those are probably the big ones. Um, so if there could be like an abstract algebra course, I would be super stoked to take something like that. Uh, applications of modern algebra. Topics may include coding theory, cryptography, graph theory, or symmetry groups. That sounds pretty cool. Survey of geometry. Uh, topics include non-Euclidean geometry, for non-math majors, that sounds weird actually. Lattice theory, introduction to partially ordered sets, distributive, modular, and Boolean lattices. I don't know very much about that, so I can't really comment. Complex variables, that's probably one that I should take. I really think, uh, you know, I've taught myself a little bit of complex variables. I had an overview of it in my math methods class where we did things like residue theorem, um, but a formal education in complex variables would probably be really helpful for me. Fourier series and boundary value problems. That sounds kind of monotonous. Calculus of variations. Euler's equations. Conditions for extrema. Direct methods. Dynamic programming. And the pon... Pon... Tree, pon that principle. <laughs> Advanced linear algebra. Rigorous treatment. We're still in the undergrad part. This is kind of amazing. Rigorous treatment of vector spaces and linear transformations, <coughs> excuse me, including canonical forms, spectral theory, inner product spaces, and related topics. Man, that sounds, that just sounds fun. I don't know if I would, that doesn't sound necessary for me to take, but I love linear algebra. I wonder if I could just Frankenstein my own math degree, just take a bunch of courses, and then the math department feel bad for me and be like, fine, I mean, that you didn't take the core classes that we needed you to take, but you took three different courses in differential geometry, so here's your degree. No thank you. Don't want to do real analysis again. That was miserable. And now we're finally into the graduate part, and it looks like we're going to see a lot of same as undergrad, but harder. So differential geometry, more geometry. Let's see if we can see anything. Uh, there we go. That expands. Information theory, a class is a study of Shannon's measure of information and discuss mutual information, entropy, and channel capacity. The noiseless source coding theorem. Huh. Yeah, it seems like a lot of the exact same courses as undergrad, but just more in depth, kind of like physics. Ordinary differential equations, linear algebra, and linear ordinary differential equations, existence, uniqueness, uh, initial conditions, sounds exactly like what everyone's taken before. PDEs, so we got elliptic, hyperbolic, and parabolic equations. I feel like a graduate course in PDEs would be extremely challenging. I took partial differential equations in undergrad. It wasn't particularly hard, but I also don't think we went over that much. Topology, one and two, so there's multiple topology courses. Connectness, compactness, topological spaces, introduction to quotient topology. I just realized, of course you can use topology with, with field theory because there's topological field theory. I was being an idiot. 
uh, covering spaces, their classification, singular, homology, degree theory, Brewer's fixed point theorem. I'm so clueless with topology, I, I really don't know much about it. Differential manifolds, differentiable manifolds, sorry, differentiable structures, tangent bundles, vector fields, and differential equations. Additional topics may include differential forms, Duram co cohomology, Riemannian, Riemannian, man, can I speak today? Riemannian geometry and topics chosen by the instructor. That sounds pretty amazing. There was someone that commented saying that they were doing differential geometry, but they didn't, didn't use tensors in the course, which I thought was weird. Um, algebra with connections? Oh, that's, <laughs> I thought it was a connection coefficients or something. Let's keep going down. Geometry with connections. Algebra 1. I thought that was, so when I was in high school, we would have Algebra 1 and then Algebra 2 trig. I thought that that's what I was just reading, but no. Examines groups, commutative rings, solvability of polynomials, Galois theory, ruler, and compass constructions. Algebra 2, group actions, fundamental theorem of finite abelian groups, slow theorems, <laughs> solvable groups, non-commutative rings, Noetherian rings, unique Factorization domains, modules, tensor products. I would love to take both of those courses. That would be pretty cool. That's one of those courses. I uh, to get a math minor at ODU, you didn't have to take abstract algebra, but I wish you did. I really wish I took that course. Introduction to commutative algebra and algebraic geometry. Universal algebra. I've never heard of that before. Universal algebra and category theory. Okay, let's, let's see, anything else? Complex analysis, rigorous treatment of complex differentiation and integration, properties of analytic functions, series and Cauchy's integral representations. Apparently I always say that wrong, Cauchy, Cauchy. I'm, gonna start, I'm just gonna say Cauchy to piss people off. Measure and integration, and it looks like we are just about done. Yeah, the last ones are a third course in topology, homological, Algebra, these are just silly names, I'm sorry. <laughs> Introduction to functional analysis, okay. So out of all of those that we just went over, I think the differential uh, manifolds and the differential geometry sounds really enjoyable. Abstract algebra would be really cool to take. Anything with group theory, anything with differential geometry is gonna be a course I try to push to take. Out of the ones that I just went over, what sounds the most interesting to you? Let me know in the comments section, and I will see you guys there.